Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. I'm going to talk about the femur here primarily, but I'm going to, I'm going to at, sprinkle in a couple of things as well. So here we see the femur, the longest, uh, strongest bone in your body. Uh, it's going to be the in the thigh there, your, up, your upper thigh or upper leg bone. Key structures here, first of all, we have the greater and lesser trochanter, very important attachment points for muscles there. In the humerus, they're called greater and lesser tubercles, so don't get that confused, greater and lesser trochanters. Then I have this little separate image because you can't really see the head very well, but then you have the head of the humerus, and on at the tip of the head there is a fovea capitis. So the head, the fovea capitis, and the neck of the femur are also important structures. The linea aspera, that's going to be a very important attachment point for a lot of the muscles in the area. Then at the bottom of the femur, you see the medial and lateral condyle. That's the, par the portion of the femur that actually connects to the, the con medial and lateral condyle of the tibia. So that's going to be where your, where your knee joint is. So medial and lateral condyle. Right above those, or kind of to the sides and above, you, you see the medial and lateral epicondyles. So epa means above or around. So you have the two medial condyles, and right above those, the two, uh, or, two or sorry, the medial and lateral condyle, and then right above that, you have the medial and lateral epicondyle. And then on top of the medial epicondyle, you have another little bump there called the adductor tubercle, which is where part of the adductor magnus muscle is going to insert. You also do see the patella here, which is a sesamoid bone. Just know the patella. There's no parts to know about it. The other thing I wanted to note here is that what's called the Q angle. So because women have wider pelvises, they're going to have a greater Q angle, which means the, the angle the femur runs down towards the knee is going to be greater. So anyone can develop problems with the patella and how it tracks there with the fem femur. It's, uh, they call it runner's knee or patellofemoral syndrome. But it is more common in women because of this Q angle. The wider pelvis means that as, as a woman is running, it's going to be harder for the patella to track straight up and down just because of the, the direction that the femur is pointing. So the, it's more likely in a woman that the patella is going gonna, is gonna to rub on the inside of the femur as, as someone is running. So I, again, I, mean, I don't, don't want to go too deep into that, but I do want you to know what the Q angle is, the angle that femur takes as it travels down to the knee. I'll probably do a separate video on patellofemoral syndrome and how, and how to deal with it later. Uh, so yes, I would just, I think that's, that's plenty to note there now, but it is normally this Q angle is going to be 10 to 15 degrees, just so you know. All right. I think that's plenty for now. We're just going to, we're primarily just focused on the femur itself, but that's just kind of an interesting thing to add. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.